Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the shared canvas layout. Canvas layouts are shared custom templates allowing the author to apply a layout design to a canvas for quick authoring. The empty state canvas message shows the author to select a layout. Let's go ahead and click on that option. This opens up a dialog that shows me two out of the box system layout that we ship as part of the product. One is called the filter left and the other one is called filter top. Let's go ahead and apply the filter left canvas layout to my current canvas and this essentially takes a design of the filter left layout and applies to my current canvas. The empty whiz containers are placeholders for the author to drag and drop visualizations into these empty containers. Now there are a couple of ways that the author can quickly sort of author the curation of this canvas. I'm going to open up the insights panel that's going to show me the watch list. And these are watch lists that is curated by me as a user and I can simply drag and drop the watch list card into one of the empty whisk containers. And as I drop, you can see that the definition of the visualization from watch list is now part of my WIS definition. And if it's a data source that's not available in my workbook, the product will also bring along the data source and add it to the workbook. Let's go ahead and drop one of the horizontal bar charts to the empty whisk container. And you can see that it brings along the information, the definition of the visualization. And it's also telling me, uh, giving me information to add the filters as part of the original source filter from the watch list to the visualization definition. I can also go to the insights panel. And if the data set that I'm working on is enabled for auto insights, the insights panel is going to show me a list of insights that the product has discovered and I can use the insights to also drop it into the empty whisk containers. The other way that the author can curate is the regular drag and drop of columns from the data element tree into the whisk containers. So let's go ahead and add a few tile measures. I'm going to bring in number of orders, customers, sales. I'm also going to add a bunch of filters to the dashboard filter bar that was exposed as part of the layout design let me go and add city customer segment sales and then for my last visualization on the bottom right i'm going to bring in the number of orders by ship mode and drop it into the whisk containers and the author can now customize the design of this canvas and any customization done to this canvas does not update the original canvas layout so let's go ahead and maybe change the design from the current design to a two by two uh, matrix if you like and i'm going to move the dashboard filters to the top and readjust the height of the tile visualizations and the two by two visualizations i have on my current canvas design let's go ahead and save this customization as a new shared custom layout now to do this, I need to have the fine grained permissions assigned to my application role. Hitting on savers is going to show me a dialog to enter a new name. So I'm going to call it a demo layout and click on save. The new layout that I just created is now available for my use. Uh, the layout dialog shows me the demo layout that we just created. Author can also use existing canvas design and save them as new layouts. So let's go ahead and save this existing design as a shared custom layout. I'm going to call this a, a four by four layout template and click and click OK. Now this is also available as a new custom shared layout for all the authors in this particular instance. Lastly, I want to show the new tile that we have added in the console to manage layouts and themes. The layout tab shows all of the layouts available in this particular instance. The read-only tag indicates that these layout designs are not updatable. The right-click context menu allows the author to change this from read-write or read-only. You can also delete the layouts from the console and control the visibility of the layout using the visible flag. So if I don't want the demo layout to be shown to my users, I can uncheck on the visible flag. And the only layouts that will be available for the authors is the filter top, filter left, and the four by four layout template in this example. Thank you for watching this video.